and well past retirement age. But today it all became worthwhile. They restored what they regard as a thing of beauty, a steam locomotive more than a century old. And there was no shortage of admirers when it took to the tracks again today. It was the back end most people saw first, all the more tantalising as Locomotive 3265 pulled into Central to borrow some carriages. Nothing too exotic, a round trip to Bankstown was the catalyst. It's a toy for all ages. They're wonderful living, breathing creatures. The P-Class 3265 was built in Manchester in 1902, but took its name from the area it served in New South Wales until 40 years ago. It's been restored on its original frame, the only such survivor from 191. But will it make money for the powerhouse museum that owns it? I'm not sure about that bit, but I think it'll make a lot of people very happy. Even the firemen, maybe especially the firemen. It's hard work. Uh, when you've got the experience, you know, uh, you know what's required. You can make an easy job. It's not as if anyone expects things to go wrong. But if they do, they won't be calling out the breakdown service. All the experts are on board. With steam, you have to start young. It's the 3265 this train is. The only risk, as it turned out, was mood. Steam locomotives have a personality and they make a decision for themselves as to whether they're going to perform faultlessly, as it has today. I think it was brilliant. I think it's, uh, it's alive, isn't it? It's Don French's second loco restoration, and now at 80, he has a new mission. Uh, tidy up at home only, yeah, clean the rubbish <laughs> off there. I'm 17 years behind out there. But there's light at the end of the tunnel. Jeff Sims, ABC News, Sydney. Time for a look at the weather now. Sydney hit.